William, N Word Boy, and J Sins. What you morons don't realize is one very specific thing. It is, that is that you no longer control the narrative. I do. And you want to know how I control the narrative? You want to know how I control the narrative, boys? Because see, I have you motherfuckers by the balls. Every single person in the troll community is my bitch. And you want to know how you all are my bitches? Allow me to elaborate. William, you think that hacking in, breaking into my mom's bank account, stealing money, DDoSing me multiple times, making your shitty little videos about me, and doing all this illegal, sh all of this illegal shit, like breaking into the doctor's database to find out where my mom's at, and what room, and what she is in there for. See, what you don't realize is this. You can hide behind your shitty little VPN all you want, little boy. But, uh... You think you're doing something. You really do. You, you think that you're doing something that you're not actually doing. See, you think that you're intimidating me. And that you're scaring me. But really, you ain't doing any of that. You know what you're really doing? You're building a case against yourself. You're not affecting me. You're building a case against yourself, baby boy. And I call you a baby boy because you act like a fucking child. You acting like a fucking dumbass kid. Thinking that your little hacker skills are, are something special. But really they ain't. There's a million motherfuckers out there just like you that think they're badass. Sitting in their mama's basement behind their little screen, safe, all cuddled up in mama's tits. But really, boy, you ain't nothing. And by the way, William, I have a little message for you from my little brother Ethan. And you can you can take my word on it, you cannot take my word on it, but if I was you, I'd take the advice very clearly and I would heed this warning very seriously. Especially after since he showed up on Marty's panel. You keep fucking around, little man. You're going to find out. See, you think you're dangerous. And to an extent, you could be. But in reality, you're nothing more than a weak, pathetic, simple-minded little bitch. Hiding behind a screen like a coward. Thinking that his little hacking skills are going to get him somewhere. But really, where, where have they gotten you? Where have they gotten you, William? Nowhere. And see, I know why you and Marty and Jay and all your little friends do what they do. You do it because you guys want to keep me on this platform. So that you can have access to me. But here's the thing. Even if I'm on this platform... You still don't have access to me. Not fully. And you want to know how and why you don't have access to me fully? Because I can cut you all off anytime I choose. 
Anytime I choose, I can cut you off. And guess what? When I cut you off, there goes your money. There goes you making a living. Every last one of you loses out on making a living off of the one person that brings you money. You don't think I don't know that you guys feed off of rage outs? You don't think I don't know that that's how you make your money? Off of me getting angry? Well, guess what? That part of me is dead. It is never coming back. So like I said, William, you're not scaring nobody. If anything, you're just build, You're helping me build a case against you for when I take this to court and I show them all the illegal things that you've been doing. And see, you might be safe behind your VPN for now, but eventually you will be found. And when you are, you will be arrested. Because everything you've done is federally illegal. Breaking into my mom's bank account, stealing money, trying to frame me for it, and then breaking into the database of the doctors where my mom was at a couple of days ago. That's all federally illegal. DDoSing me is also another federal crime. And what you don't seem to understand, William, is you've now created a paper trail for yourself. You've now created a paper trail that leads right back to you. See, you can hide from me, but you can't hide from the long arm of the law. No matter how much you try to run and hide, you can't hide from the law. Because see... I know why your little faggot boyfriend Marty did what he did. See, he set me up to isolate me so that he can have his way with me. And because I turned him down in a peaceful manner, mind you, he hated that. So he did what he did because I would not fall for his bullshit. And you know, it's funny. You guys use this whole pedophile thing as a way to control your narrative. But here's the thing. You guys don't control the narrative anymore. I do. See, nobody buys your fucking bullshit narrative anymore, Marty. Everybody knows that you're full of shit. And William, everybody knows that you're full of shit as well, my friend. And same with you, N-word boy. And Jay Sins, you're nothing more than a wannabe fucking Adolf Hitler little Nazi fuck boy. That's all you are. You're a wannabe Adolf Hitler little bitch face Nazi. See, you try to sit there and claim... That you're this and that you're that. But really, you're a pathetic, washed up, emo little fag. Who's pretending to be a badass. When really, all you are is a loser hiding behind the screen like a bitch. Running his mouth, laughing. And you know what, you know what that laugh tells me, Jay? That tells me that you're deflecting like a little pussy. <laughs> you see, you guys get real, real laughing. You guys get real laughy whenever you get nervous. And you're nervous for the right reasons. Because you all know that the troll community is soon going to crumble. See, y'all don't think that I'm going to be taking my life back. But people, let me tell you something. I took my life back the day that I made this channel. And I'm going to be taking my life back even more here on Wednesday. 
Now, I'm not saying what's happening on Wednesday, but just know that the troll community is soon going to crumble. And every single one of you will no longer have a leg to stand on. None of you are going to survive the troll community purge. Because see, the day that I made this channel, I cleansed myself of the troll community. So, you guys can sit there and post your little shitty comments. But you know what those comments tell me? They tell me that you're sad about your life. You're miserable with your life. I mean, you can sit there and say that you're happy with your life all you want, but that's just a lie. You're all lying to yourselves. Saying, oh, I'm happy with my life. No, you're not. A happy person doesn't do what you guys do. A normal, functioning human being with a healthy mindset does not do the things that Marty and William and all your little friends do. Those are not the actions of a normal person. Those are the actions of someone that is severely, severely mentally disturbed. And Marty is indeed mentally disturbed. He is a sociopath with psychopathic tendencies and he is a narcissist. And William, you're just a punk little bitch. Who thinks he's slick. But like I said William. The night that you broke into my mom's bank account. You left the paper trail. Right back to your fucking front door. And you don't even realize how. And I'm not going to tell you how. You're going to have to figure that out for yourself. But what you fail to realize. Is that this entire time. When you've been doing all this illegal shit that you've been doing. You've merely created a paper trail for yourself. That is eventually going to lead the police right to your front door. And you know what's going to happen when you hear that on your door? They're not going to be there to talk to you. They're going to be there to arrest you. Because everything you've done is federally illegal, William. We all have a paper trail, William. And the night that you broke into my mom's bank account, you showed us and the world your paper trail. And Marty, I've been on your paper trail. I don't need a paper trail for your ass because I know where the fuck you live. So, just bear in mind that you trolls can talk all the shit that you guys want. But at the end of the day, no one buys your lies anymore. No one in the real world with a normal human functioning brain. No one buys your bullshit anymore. And you want to know why they don't buy it? Because they see through the bullshit. They see how you all have treated me. They see what you have done to me. And let me tell you, it's not good. <laughs> and Marty... When I tell you that I am your God, I am your God. Because like I said before, without me, you make no money. Without me, your channel goes bye-bye. It don't matter whether it's on Kick. It don't matter whether it's on Twitch, Rumble, YouTube. It doesn't matter. Without me, your views drop. 
You are a victimizing piece of shit. You are a piece of human feces. You are human waste. But you can't even see that. So, like I said, Marty, William, Edward Boy, Jay Sims, Bishop White, and every other troll out there that thinks that they run shit, just know that your days are numbered. Because, like I said, when this goes to court, And it will go to court. Every single one of you are going to be brought down. Whether it be by me. Whether it be by my little brother. My best friends. Or whether it be even another victim of yours. Eventually you guys will get brought down. Because see, I don't care. About negative comments. Which is why I delete them. Because negative comments and troll shit. Is not welcome. On my channel. Do you understand that? No trolls. Are allowed on this channel. If I see a negative comment. I will delete it. If I see a troll subscribe to me, I will ban them from my channel. Because as I said, I run my life. You trolls do not. You only think you do. You think that you run my life by... Forcing me to be on YouTube. But the truth is, you're not forcing me to be here. I am here by my own free will. Not because you're forcing me. I could go to any platform that I choose. But I choose here. And why do I choose here? Because it pisses you guys off. And anything I can do to piss you off. I will happily do. Whether that be me cutting you guys off entirely. Whether that be me doing what I need to do to ignore you. So, I mean, you guys can sit there and run your mouths all you want. But the truth is, I've already escaped you. I've been escaped the troll community. Even though you guys like to say that I did not. But indeed, I have. And it's funny that you guys think that this little cult is so badass. When in fact, your little cult of 43 is a joke. The cult of 43 is nothing more than a bunch of losers hiding behind a fucking computer like a little bitch. Because they're too afraid to go outside and touch grass. They're too busy chugging on Mountain Dew and eating Doritos.
So, I mean, you guys can sit there and call me what you want. But just know this. At the end of the day, I own all of you. You do not own me. Because, see, all you guys are to me, all you little trolls, you know what you guys are to me? Free views is all you are. That's all you are is free views. And actually, Jay, I do own you, you little faggot. I own you, Marty, and every troll up in here, bitch. You fucking Nazi. Oh, and by the way, Jay, allow me to show you what we do to little Nazi pedophile lovers like you. We do this. Goodbye, Nazi boy. Goodbye, communist Nazi. So, like I said, Jay, you think you're so tough, but you ain't shit. None of you trolls are shit. And if you think I'm paying attention to the comments, I'm not. I'm merely making I'm merely making an example of key individuals such as Faggot Wyatt. Who thinks he's this esteemed and very distinguished gentleman. But really, you're a bitch Canadian, bro. You're a fucking faggot from Canada, is all you are. So like I said, to Marty, William, Jay Sins, the bitch Nazi of YouTube, and every troll that thinks that they run my life, and thinks that I can't cut them off. <laughs> uh, just wait till tomorrow. Well, rather, later today now. Just wait. Because every one of you will be cut off. And when you are, none of you will make money off of me anymore. And your little narrative, down the drain. Your views, bye-bye. Your troll community will burn to the ground. And there will be no troll community left. Because I will be the one to torch the troll community to the ground. And if you don't think I'll be torching it down. Well. You'll have to wait and find out till tomorrow. Now, if you little peasant bitch trolls don't mind, I have a real life to live. While well, you guys sit there and waste away your lives, spewing your bullshit ass comments, saying the same thing over and over and over and over again. Because that's all you do. You say the same things over and over again. Like it matters. But the truth is. It doesn't. So uh. <laughs> all I have to say to you trolls. And to Marty and William. And all your little friends. Is this. I'm going to enjoy watching the troll community. Burn to the ground. 
I'm going to enjoy the work that I do, burning it to the ground. I'm going to enjoy and savor every second of it. Because, like it or not, the troll community will crumble. So, if I was all y'all within the troll community, I'd say goodbye to each other now. Because, when this is all said and done, the troll community will be nothing but rubble. Beneath my feet. And I will be standing tall. Where I used to be. Once again. So. Have fun. Enjoy while it lasts. Because the troll community won't last forever. <laughs>